From the Spurs to city bonds, taxes, yes, my friends, a lot is happening in the Alamo City, and we're talking all about it with the San Antonio Mayor. Mayor Rod Nurnberg joining us for our KSAT Q&A. Like Willie Nelson, he is on the road again uh, in, in the Tahoe, uh, going from place to place. Mr. Mayor, thank you for joining us. Let's start with the bond packages that, that passed this sure. weekend. Big victory for you. You were solidly behind them. When will people start seeing what will the first signs of this bond package be, I guess, for the average San Antonian? Well, I, and I would say it's a big victory for our entire community. I think, um, you know, these capital improvement programs are done every five years and they are really our community's way of prioritizing the public improvements. And so the approval means that we can do those capital improvements that were indicated across the city are important. Uh, streets, sidewalks, drainage, parks, which comprise 76%. Uh, of the bond program, uh, as well as public safety facilities and housing. Obviously, this is a five-year capital improvement program, so it starts with the design work and, and engineering, and then we move into construction. Those uh, smaller projects will begin almost immediately. I think you're going to start to see the Linear Creekway trails under development very soon. Uh, some of the projects are a little bit more comprehensive and take longer, but the improvements are ongoing. Um, five years ago, the public approved improved the five-year program from 2017. Those are finishing up. Uh, so it's an ongoing process of making sure that we maintain our infrastructure and keep up with growth and quality of life. How about housing? Can you talk specifics on that, on when people are going to see a difference? Sure. Absolutely. So the, the housing proposition, which is new, was approved, and it's $150 million broken up into five different categories. One of them is a big one is the uh, repair programs to preserve and rehabilitate housing for some of our fixed income seniors, lower income communities to make sure that we don't lose that housing stock. Those uh, programs largely exist. They're going to be uh, plussed up with more resources so people can begin applying for those funds immediately. Uh, there another area of that funding is going towards permanent supportive housing, which we know is a great need here to get folks off the street. Uh, and into rehabilitative services so they can find permanent housing uh, and not rely on you know the streets. Uh, and that, again, is an ongoing process where we will begin working to identify those uh, properties that can be developed uh, to permanent supportive housing. We'll begin working with the San Antonio or the South Alamo Regional Alliance for Homelessness. So uh, the housing uh, bond, which was new, is an important element of making sure that we're taking care of the entire housing ecosystem and stay in front of this housing crisis, which which uh, manifests in affordability issues for virtually every resident in our community. And also, <clears throat> we see very clearly in the homelessness issues that are facing the nation. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you... Yeah, clear your throat there. Hey, talk about when you talk about affordability, property taxes certainly play a factor in that. I know that was a big yes. part of the debate today, uh, figuring out ways to lower property taxes, what the city can and yep. can't do. Uh, I know that there was talk about a 10 percent homestead uh, uh, yes. increase. Will that when will that take place and when will we see it on our bills if it's passed? So uh, obviously we're talking about the city portion of the bill, which is the only right. thing we can control is that one fifth that, that goes to the city. So uh, we did look at the city staff recommendations and it did include a 10% homestead tax exemption, uh, which is uh, a huge increase in exemption from the 0.01% we have now. Uh, we also looked at increasing the senior exemption, the over 65 exemption from 65,000 to 85, thousand dollars of, of the value of the home being exempted uh, as well as disabled from twelve thousand five hundred to eighty five thousand and then of course a one cent tax rate decrease as well all of those were part of the city staff recommendation all of those have to be sent to the comptroller for approval after a city council vote in mid-june which we will take and then they will take effect uh, at the start of the um, fiscal year for the city of san antonio which is in october how do you get the message across that, you know, so we have seen record growth here in San Antonio. So you've got yeah. more people coming in. You need more money to keep up with infrastructure and things like that. But then we're also talking about a property tax cut. That's right. And it's a it's a it's a delicate balancing act. And again, we can only affect one fifth of the tax bill. And, and largely what people are feeling is the rising assessments, the values going up as well as the school districts, which, which comprise a half of your property tax bill. 
And the reason why they're seeing those school district taxes become a burden is because the state, which has in the past funded half of school districts, uh, has slowly backed away over the last 20 years of taking care of their share of public school districts across the state. So they push all that burden onto local school districts. And that's what's been occurring. Uh, so when it comes to trying to provide relief with the portion that we can at the city level, we have to we have to make sure that we have enough revenue to take care of police fire police services, fire services, pave the streets, make sure that we're accommodating growth, et cetera. So it's a difficult balancing act. I will say the reason why we're able to strike this balance this year is because our economy is coming back strong. Uh, and while families are still struggling, we can use that um, economic boom that we, we're starting to see and push some of that relief back to um, residents in our city that you know, really it's being generated from. Push that um, that benefit onto the residents who are working very hard to get our economy back on track. The other thing that, that has benefited us is the fact that this city has been fiscally disciplined uh, during the height of the pandemic, rather than continuing to try to do everything uh, despite the changing needs in our community, we scaled back, we reduced expenses, uh, and we didn't have the burden coming out of the pandemic that many other cities are facing. Fiscal discipline is one of those reasons why we're able to do this this year. Quickly, before we let you go, your your quick reaction to Peter J. Holt uh, and the ownership group putting out a letter basically saying, we're here in San Antonio to stay. You know, I, I think it was a, a very heartfelt letter. And, and I could sense uh, when I talked to Peter, his frustration about how what they were trying to do is being perceived. Uh, look, we all want the Spurs to be successful. In order for them to be successful, they have to continue to grow their fan base. And Mexico has always been uh, one of those areas that they have been trying to expand to. And frankly, this is the fastest growing corridor in the nation. It would make sense for them to try to appeal to fans up and down the corridor. But keep in mind, the reason why the Holt family got into the Spurs in the first place is because they didn't want them to leave San Antonio. And that is the reason why the Holt family is still involved in the Spurs. Uh, so in order for us to, to enjoy the Spurs in San Antonio for years to come, we have to make sure they're successful. And I think um, supporting them and, and supporting the Holts in pursuit of a great franchise and bringing some more titles home is exactly what we ought to be doing. So I was glad to see the letter and looking forward to seeing some Spurs game and Spurs games over the years to come. Go Spurs. All right, Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. Great to see you all. Have a great night. Take care.